Hey y'all, it's Susanna B. Lewis. Thank you so much for being here this evening. This is my wonderful stud muffin, Jason. Here is gonna be my wife. Jason, how about a husband? <laughs> Please tell me. I said husband, my husband, Jason. Go for it. He's gonna be my moderator this evening. But uh, first things first, uh, we are doing the live signing for my new book that will be out on Tuesday. Tuesday's the 20th, right? Tuesday. Um, it's available for pre-order now and it's available right here, right now. You can see the link um, to purchase your um, autographed copy. Um, but it will be in bookstores on Tuesday and we are so excited about it and I'm so excited to be here. So some of you guys have um, submitted questions um, for me to ask what so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna sign books right here I'm gonna sign books and my wonderful assistant here Vanna is going to read from this iPad some questions as they're coming in and we're just gonna conversate and talk he's gonna say you're gonna say Lincoln Bach Texas right nope <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what happens. So we're gonna get started. I'm just gonna sign some books. So y'all feel free. Um, they can still ask questions, right? They can still ask questions. If you have a question, um, uh, feel free to ask and we'll try to get to it and we're just gonna have a good time, right? Uh, let me do a little plug here. This wonderful art behind me, my friend Jill Bell. You can find her on Instagram at jbellart. Actually, I didn't realize she would be right behind me. Her work would be right behind me. So I'm gonna plug her, check out her Instagram page. All right. Stud, you ready? So you Phone know lines are open, people. Bring them in. So, uh, Phone lines are open. I'm excited to be here with you today, Miss Lewis. And Thank I you very much. I appreciate you inviting me to be your uh, moderator of sorts. Absolutely. And, uh, sure. We'll try to get a couple questions going from the audience, from the fan base. The fan base. What do the people want to know? Uh, Nothing to, if, it's an awkward, what, if it's an awkward <clears throat> question, I'm going to turn around and ask you an awkward question. You we'll, <laughs> we'll start with this one. Uh, actually, don't have a name, but the question is, what is your favorite part of the writing process? My favorite part of the writing process is when it's done. <laughs> Sitting down and reading what I've written. No. That's my favorite part as well. Yeah. Do you read I get to it? see more of you then. Yeah, that's right. My favorite part of the writing process is actually at night after you and everybody have gone to bed, sitting on the couch with my dogs, brainstorming and writing and drinking decaf coffee. At least that's my excuse, that's my excuse for when I just want to go sit on the couch by myself. I've got to write. That's what yeah, I say. I hear that a lot for some reason. I, you know, I don't know. Next. Uh, let's see. How about which of your books was the most enjoyable to write? Um, unfortunate Ursula Underwood fiction. That was my favorite book to write, my fiction book. I mean, I love writing nonfiction, that's fun, but um, fiction is absolutely my favorite. That was a fun book because it had so much backstory and the character's kind of a dystopian novel, and so the characters were kind of out there and it was fun to make. Have you, have you read? I have read, and have I did. Read it? I had yeah. to look up the word dystopian, but yes, I've read the book and so what, uh, enjoyed it. What, so do you remember? That's the one with the woman was on the phone and it was, Which was actually, I'm not gonna be the spoiler here. Actually, that's a good thing because the cover of Unfortunate Ursula Underwood was painted by my friend there Jill. She actually there did the go. cover of that book. So. Tying things together. Tying things together. Yeah, six degrees of Kevin Bacon. Go. Is it six or seven? Is it seven? seven? Right. Right. I missed a degree. Uh, <laughs> what is your favorite story from the new book? Maybe give the fans a little snippet of what's to come. <laughs> <laughs> a little snippet there. Just a little snippet of what's to come. Um, my favorite story from the new book is probably the one about mama always asking to see a manager. That was a very true story. Every time we went out to eat, pretty much. But she always remember, got it done. Do you remember always. when she got that free scent explosion because she complained to the manager? She I'm got sure a free cinnamon explosion because yeah. it was not the proper size as represented in the picture on the menu. False advertising. It was. And mama knew what she wanted. She got it. Go. Uh, how about? Uh, here we go. We'll jump right into the depth Did the party of things. Just come in? I guess so. 
Jennifer asks, have you ever thought of running for office? No. I'd like to run away from office. No. Okay. Absolutely not. Never. Never unless unless God does something amazing and just picks me up and places me in a, in a Senate seat somewhere. No. No thank you. Uh, how about Lori's question from uh, Walton, West Virginia? All right, Lori. Are you planning to expand your farm? If so, with what animal? That's more of a question for you. <laughs> Can we, may we expand our farm? Uh, our farm is at capacity at the It's moment. not. 12 Tails Farm is not at capacity. Let's talk about this for a minute. You told me, you said, you can have as many dogs as you want as long as they're not inside, right? So how come every time I, you told me that, mm, your mother can vouch for that. You said, I don't care how many dogs you have as long as they're well, not inside. Well, we got house. two inside, so what does that mean? No, you said this after we had the two inside. No. And then, uh, so I said, so you said we can have as many as we want outside. So every time I bring a dog home, why do you get angry? Do you take care of them? Fair enough, next question. <laughs> <clears throat> I would like some alpacas, mini ponies. What else did I say I wanted? Bennett's got to know. I got to know. A horse. A horse? My I son's off camera. Horse. You want uh, a horse? Oh, and those little mini pigs. We don't need minis. <laughs> we could do uh, full size cows for eating. How about that? Oh, do you know how many? <laughs> How many vegetarians you've just made angry? Mm, yeah, you I forgot have about to, that. Yes. I gotta be politically you to be, correct you here. You do have correct. to be politically correct. Go ahead. Uh, let's see. Who's your favorite author by Anne in Winchester, Kentucky? Anne in Winchester, Kentucky. This is funny because last night I was talking to my friend, I was talking to Meredith about this last night. We were talking about our favorite authors. And when I'm asked that question, I always feel like I should say somebody like Tolstoy or something, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. But do you know who it really is? Do you know who my favorite author is? I mean, I love Steinbeck. I love William Faulkner. I love Hemingway. I like the old stuff. I've read it all. But do you know who my absolute favorite author is? I'm anxious and willing to learn. Are you really that anxious? Yes, tell me. Suzanne Collins. Okay. The Hunger Games. Oh, okay. It really is. I'm, yeah. the, I'm four, almost 40. Interesting. Don't cut me off. We're just having a conversation Oh, I here. thought we were going to the next question. Sorry. <laughs> no. <clears throat> it's a youth uh, YA novel, pretty much. But it's I love the Hunger Games series. So I, I really aspire to be like uh, Suzanne Collins and write some fiction series like that. Good. Fair What's enough. your favorite one, Jason? Who's your favorite author? Uh, well, Susanna B. Lewis, of Look course. Look at it. <clears throat> Perfect. Uh, all right. Perfect. Did Snoop Dogg, this is from McMinnville, Tennessee, McMinnville. did Snoop Dogg McMinnville. ever make it this summer? Well, the backstory on that is that Snoop Dogg was supposed to come to our town, but COVID came instead of Snoop Dogg. And so the mayor said, stay on your stoop if you want to see Snoop, because everybody was out mingling. Mm -hmm. No, Snoop Dogg said one, two, three into the four. What? I ain't COVID's coming to your town no more. I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Back on up. That's what he said about COVID. <clears throat> no, Snoop never came, which I'm upset about. All right. Can I move on? Uh, let's I, see. I, it's a, look, it's up to Jessica you. from North Carolina. What town in North Carolina? Tar Tarawa <laughs> Terrace. What town is that? Tarawa Terrace. That's wrong. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. But uh, the question is, if you were a golden girl, which one would you be? Also, I'll, I'll let you answer that. Oh, it'd be B. Arthur, definitely. Which one is B. Arthur? B. Arthur is uh, the tall one, right? What's her name on the show? Um, this uh, is why people... Uh, Dorothy, actually. This is why people that. file papers. Yeah. Dorothy, I'd be Dorothy. I got it right. What's the second part? The second part of the question is uh, also, what is your favorite Bible verse? So it's a gold girls and Bible verse? Two parter right, right there. I don't have Going a, on both ends, spectrums. Uh, my favorite verse, well, I don't have specifically a favorite verse, but I have a favorite chapter. You know what the favorite chapter is? What's my favorite chapter? Uh, what, Psalm 91. Psalm 91 is my absolute favorite chapter. And um, we've got that, um, what, written in the pavement, the foundation of our home. Um, so absolutely, Psalm 91 is my favorite. All right. 
guess you don't care what my favorite verse is. What is your favorite verse? Let's well, go no, with let's this say, no, 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 we have time. We're going too quickly. I what was is just your, trying to kill time before the What day. is your favorite verse? Uh, let's see. My favorite verse would be in Joshua. What is that? Where he's talking, choose you this day whom you will serve. And it's for me and my house. But the important part of that is the choose aspect. Of That's it. right. Because you, you have to make a choice in life. Are you going to walk the way of the world or the way of the word? Took me a long time to figure that one out, folks. But yeah, uh, it did. And still working on it daily. You're, you you finna get get a show. Oh, TBN's gonna fix it to be calling you, the Christian Broadcasting Network. CBN, put you on the stage. You need to be I'm, singing in the choir. I'm stuck. I'm oh, asking I'm the Lord to work on you about that. What have you stuck? Down, where are you stuck down? You can continue. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, you gotta pet. You gotta step this up. All right. We're gonna have to play. We'll be right back. Music or something. All right. So she's. Uh, let's see. Kayla in Brunswick, Georgia says, "No questions. I just want to thank you for your stand in Christ. You have taken the stand in Christ. You have taken an example that you are. God bless." Thank you very much, Kayla. Awesome. That's sweet. I appreciate encouragement anytime I get it. Thank you. Oh, uh, let's see. Any funny stories of, from your kiddos? Which Mr. one? Bennett? Which one? Any funny stories about them? From your kiddos. Or from them. Do you have a funny story you want to tell? Their whole lives are funny. This one sitting over here is uh, hilarious. Hilari what is the word you would describe yourself? Boy. Hilarious? Yeah, I think hilarious. What is your favorite funny story? I've got another question, if you'd like to move on. <laughs> How, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to how did you find your start as an author? Um, I've been writing books since I was eight years old and um, uh, started a blog, uh, Woe Susanna, back in 2013 and um, published a lot of articles there which got picked up by Huffington Post and other publications and won some short story writing contests, um, self-published some fiction. Um, made some videos that went viral, literary agent found me, and here I am. Awesome. Do you read true crime? Do I read it? Do you read it? No, but you know I watch it, don't I? <laughs> what do we, what do I? We're hooked on Columbo right now. Yes, Columbo, <laughs> so I got like that true crime? No, that's <laughs> not true crime. That's uh, not true crime. That's fake. So we're talking uh, Dateline, we're, uh, 2020. I'll, I have a lot of Dateline and 2020 saved on our DVR. Um, what was the guy? My, my, my. Oh, yeah. Well, my, my, my. Detective, ID uh, channel. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember his name. Homicide Hunter. Was it Homicide Hunter? Yeah. Well, my, my, my. my we used to my, watch my. that. We used to watch the first 48 a lot. When they were in Memphis, yeah. In Memphis and before bed. And then we'd have nightmares <coughs> all night after watching that. Um, but yeah, I, I do watch a lot of true crime. Absolutely. Uh, how about... I can't find them. From Ontario, Canada. Yeah? What has been the biggest triumph in your marriage? Relationships are so hard, especially in this world we live in. Do you want to answer that? I don't, I actually. Th I think we would agree on the greatest triumph in our marriage. Would it not be? <clears throat> Probably so. What would it be? I think it would be um, the old washed away for the new, and um, true, and um, putting off our old life and and devoting our life lives to Christ and making Him first in our household. Uh, I would agree. I think that's a. Uh, um, I think that's been a real good thing for us. What do you yep. think? Yeah, working out pretty good so far. And Colombo. And Colombo. Uh, at what age did you become a Christian? Um, I was saved when I was five or six, um, but as far as, um, so I've had a relationship with the Lord all of my life pretty much, um, grew up in church, uh, had a lot of rebellious years there, um, high school and college years, a lot of rebellion, and think um, rededicating my life to Christ was probably about 10 years ago maybe, um, both for both of us. We have the same background of, of growing up in church, but going astray and, oh, jeez, 
we don't have to talk about that. Next question. There's, there's still some statue of limitations, I think, open on that one. Some legalities <laughs> some to le some of these kinds of cases. Some legalities, yeah. Uh, let's see. What is your favorite food cooked at home? Um, <laughs> you got a joke about this, don't you? Not going to say a word on this one. You go ask what foods do I cook at home? I'm a good no, cook. No, what is your favorite food I know, cooked at home? I know, but I don't really cook that much. But I can cook, right? You cook, yeah, when you want to. But I can. Thanksgiving meal, Christmas meal. I think Thanksgiving good. meal is actually my favorite meal ever. If I was on death row and had one last meal, I would just say the Thanksgiving meal. I agree. Which, by the way, side note, uh, if you check out my Facebook page, uh, there, um, you can get access to um, uh, my re some of Mama's recipes, your grandmother's recipes. Her strawberry cake is on there. Oh, yeah. um, you can get access to those recipes and stuff. Check out uh, the Facebook page. So me, Ma me, made the interwebs. Huh? Me, Ma made the interwebs. Yeah, and the strawberry cake is delicious. Absolutely delicious. Uh, let's see. I need to refresh. Do I not? Yeah. Uh, what is your advice for new writers? Um, my advice for new writers is to keep writing and um, listen, even if you're writing things that that nobody, don't write for the, for the fame and for this because as writers, um, we have to write. I know I have to write. It's like, it's as cliche as it sounds. It's like breathing. If I don't um, write and get things out, um, it's, it's just not natural for me not to write. So for young writers, just keep writing. Um, you know, it takes a long time to build a platform to, to uh, sell books. Um, even if you're writing things that you put in a Rubbermaid tote and put in your attic that nobody ever sees, keep writing daily as much as possible and keep um, putting yourself out there and um, sharing your work with it. Just anything like uh, those little uh, local short story contests I would, sh I would join and just um, anytime you see a writing contest online or, an, or uh, writing for your local newspaper, which I did for a little while, just write as much as possible. Just keep writing and don't give up or be burdened by the fact that it takes a long time for people to read your stuff. I mean, I've been writing since I was eight and my first book was not published until two years ago. So. It's a long process, but it's well worth it. Make sure you got somewhere to put those totes. They add up. We got several. Totes. The writing totes do add up. Little, little, little tote section. Are we going to start because there's a whole chapter in this book on things you acquired in a garage and shop? Mm. Uh, what is what's the best part of having a toddler with older kiddos? The older kiddos <laughs> to take care of the toddler. Uh, that's the best part. These older kids. Um, are uh, a great help with, uh, she wore me out today. Mm. She had, you know, she said, she said no and threw the remote. She's in bed by the time we get home, won't she? She said no and threw a remote. Is Natalie watching? Shh, don't say her name online. Oh, that's the other one anyway, it don't matter. 7.30. Well, that was the boy and the girl. We don't give names. Sorry. Anyway, the the older children have been wonderful, wonderful help. Wonderful help. And, yeah. Thank God for built-in babysitters. And a new one. Yeah. Uh, let's see. This commentary says, Love you, Susanna. Can't wait commentary. for my book to arrive. <laughs> Have what? you ever said commentary in your life? I just said it. It's added natural, too. It you didn't. Like that? For, start over, please. Can I finish my you question? Start over, please. Love you, Susanna. Can't wait for my book to arrive. What offends you? Like the worst thing someone can do or say around you that ticks you off. <coughs> How long do we have? Um, you gonna have to. I'm gonna just tell you. You have to buy the book, book to uh, to uh, figure that. What really ticks me off? <sighs> oh. I'm not answering. We're not gonna. Stuff. We're not gonna uh, buy the book. Go ahead. Who asked that question? I don't have names. Oh, you don't have that left name? Left okay. anymore. Okay, okay. that's okay. Reason. Well, whoever know. asked that question, email me. We'll talk later. We're in technical difficulties. That's okay. Uh, do you find people more accepting or critical of your thoughts, beliefs, etc.? 
People can be so cruel, but please know there are some of us out here that really appreciate your openness and thank you for all you do. You have certainly been an encouragement for me. Thank you very much. Um, uh, well, you can't please all the people. Can you move me some books there, Mr. Lewis? Could you sure slide? Can. Could you help me out here a little bit? Um, you, you can't. You slow down there, girl. I know. Well, you gotta slow down. You're the one jumping, we running through. Next questions. question. Next question. I got lots of questions. You only got okay. so many books. I know. Um, uh, what was I saying? You know, I've chased. Uh, no. Yeah, about people ADD. accepting or critical. Of your oh thoughts. yeah. Um, well, you know, you can't please all the people all the time, and that's exactly what this book is about. It's about standing firm in what you believe in, because you have a right to believe that, and you have the right to speak your beliefs and not be censored. And um, so I do get criticism for what people think, but you have to remember too that when people, I'm learning this, um, continuing to learn this, that when people come at you in a place of defense or, um, you know, just berating you, that that's hurt people hurt people. And so that's not my business if they have an issue with me. Uh, I'm still gonna stand firm in what I believe and what I think. And um, that's what this whole book is about, is encouraging you to do the same. Show the love. Show the love. Do any of your kids write? Uh, no. No. Do you write uh, some? Yeah, right. uh, our, well, yeah, that's right. My son and his friend uh, Max actually do write comics. Yeah, they uh, kind of like the what's it, Captain Underpants, George and Harold. One writes and one draws. Um, uh, he's he's um, our daughter's uh, musical and um, uh, she's got her own talent. Uh, he he's uh, I think he's creative, likes to build things and Lego things. So I think writing could be in his future. I really think it could. I'm not going to pressure him to do that if that's not what he wants to do. But yeah, I would love to have a writer in the family. Get the writing, boy. Yeah. Uh, let's see. My husband and I listen to your podcast. Oh, great. Thank you. It is a precious time for us together. Thank oh, you for giving in that way. It's a precious time. Shh. I'm still reading. <laughs> Thank you for giving in that way. Thank you. Any upcoming topics that you are excited about to discuss on the cast? Absolutely. Um, I have not done a podcast in about a little, well, maybe over a week, maybe almost two weeks down, just because I've been so busy with uh, book launch and stuff going on. Um, but yes, I actually have, I'm excited about it, that I have some guests lined up. Um, so it's not just me and my opinions for 30, 45 minutes on the podcast. Um, some uh, good topics coming up. Not all, they're not always political by any means. Um, we've got some um, good word coming up about kids and social media and protecting your kids on social media, uh, which I think is going to be uh, really beneficial. I want y'all to listen to that one. And um, of, as always, I post um, the podcasts that are upcoming on my Facebook page, and um, you can find it on Spotify and iTunes and all the things. But I definitely will let you guys know when I have another podcast coming out. Thank you so much that you and your husband listen to that together. I think that's great. Maybe you should be on my podcast. I think you should. All right. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to talk have about? Have your people call my people. What do you want to talk about on the podcast? Uh, uh, Dogs? No. Are more books in the pipeline? Yes. Yes. That's all I can say. Yes. Is that a teaser? Dun, dun, dun. It was tuned. a teaser. It was a teaser. Stay tuned. <clears throat> uh, let's see. What have your... What have your... What? I, all right. Let me start that over. It says your... I think it means... What? what has your family yeah, done yeah. to stay occupied during COVID? Oh, we're, we're, we're occupied. Um, where we live is not shut down much at all uh, anymore. So we're back in school, we're back in sports. Um, he's not working from home, he's, he's working at, at work. Um, uh, so we are occupied when we were locked down. Um, spent a lot of time um, yelling at each other. So that's how is that COVID related? I think that's just Yeah, one of the symptoms of COVID is yelling. It is. We got things to do. We got kids running around and there's like animals all over the house and the outside and there's always something fun to do. Yeah, uh, that's if you ever get bored, holler at me, I got something for you to do. Yeah, we'll find something for you to do. Uh favorite activity with your children? 
watching them, uh, I, my favorite activity I think with my daughter is watching her play softball and basketball. Um, with my son, we have that bond of animals together. Somebody in the house likes animals. Natalie doesn't like animals. You don't like animals. I, I think the animals. baby will. Well, not to the extent that we do. <coughs> um, so There's not many people that do. That's that not true. That do. That's not true. Um, so my son and I like to uh, hang out with our animals. The baby and I like to watch Coco Melon on repeat until she throws the remote. Could you slide over some books? Oh. I'm just going to sign one initial instead of two because we're going so fast. I'm just going to we'll sign like this. Okay. Well, like an like a older, like older woman. Go ahead. What would you say to a conservative friend in oh. California? This is from Suzanne in Dublin, okay. California. Dublin. What would you say to a conservative friend in California who can't share her views or values or she'll have no friends and no job? I, would I say think it's move. a pity. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> move. Uh, I think it's a pity that, that uh, is, it a, is she asking for a friend? Is it for her? It doesn't matter. Uh, she's from California and she's. Uh, I yeah. Um, read the book, do it anyway. Do it anyway. Just do it anyway. Do what you can do. I'm sorry, I think, I think moving may be a good... I like California when we had a chance to go out there. Uh, uh, it's a beautiful, yeah, uh, it's a beautiful state. I uh, got no beef with the California. Yeah, um, uh, let's we'll see. Take you, we'll take you in Tennessee though. We can find, you could probably find a rental property somewhere for her. You know somebody's got something for rent. Maybe so. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> what do you think is a great message or pieces of advice to pass down to your kids? Oh gosh, keep God, keep uh, Christ first and foremost. Listen, it, I have been baffled to see our kids have so many voices coming at them, um, especially with social media. Um, they bring school home with them every day and these kids home with them every day. Um, so my advice is that it's hard. It's harder than it was for us uh, when we were kids. Uh, I think it is because you have access to so many different opinions and and um, comparisons and other people in your business and stirring the pot. Um, so I um, am just teaching my children to listen to the voice of truth and not all the outside voices that come at them in the hallways and on, on Facebook and all that stuff. Is that good? You get That's some right. fatherly advice. You, uh, hey, He's you a do. good father. He knows what's up. What's your fatherly advice? Uh, keep the safety on? Yeah, man. Keep, keep doing what you got to do. Um, we, uh, hey, we got fans. We got fans. Yeah. Hey, I'll, I'll be out later. I don't know. Go ahead. I forgot what I was talking about. I'm sorry. Your fatherly <laughs> advice. Oh, we were talking about, uh, just, I, I don't know if it's harder for kids. It's just, Certainly different, uh, even when we were kids. But uh, but are, but kids today are faced with so many more things. We weren't. We if we were getting told things at school, we left it at school. Now it's when you're sitting on the couch trying to forget about something happened at school. It's still being you're still reminded of it constantly. Yep. Got to use the social media as a tool and not a. Uh, Don't let it use you. Yeah, there you go. We put that on t-shirt. There's a lot more. Uh, put that on a t-shirt. Speaking of t-shirts, woesusanna.com. Oh, can not come in? Yeah, y'all can come in. Can they come in? Is it too loud? Do you come have, in. Do you have any <laughs> hidden talents? Hey, guys. Have any hidden talents? That's what it says. I don't know, do I? I don't know. Favorite place that you have visited? <laughs> uh, California. I think California's one of my favorite places. Um, also, um, I love Key West. Uh, we went to Hemingway's house in Key West. I'm not a fan of cats, although we have three now. Um, we do. So there's cats everywhere in Heming in um, Key West, and so I. What's up with that? I forget why they did that. In a, in a, well, I had a six-toed cat. Quit moving on so quick. They had a six-toed <coughs> cat, and all the cats are descendants of Hemingway's yeah, cat. It was a story of. Um, and so anyway, I don't like cats, and I'm kind of allergic a little bit. We sneezed a lot in Key West, and we kicked a few cats into some bushes. But other than that, I love being in Key West. Key West. Was we nice. do have free cats now, though, at home. 
which are for eating mice, which they've done a phenomenal they job. Did. They're really just doing their job. We're going to keep them. Go ahead. If you could own one exotic animal, what would it be? The mini pig. Is that an exotic animal? It's a pig. But it's mini. <laughs> okay. Is a mini pig not exotic? Uh, yeah. Whatever. It's not? Not in Tennessee. <laughs> not in Tennessee. That's right. All right, an exotic. Hold on, let me think about this. You're rushing me, just like when we go eat. I'm like, hurry up. We're all waiting. An exotic animal, like something you see at the, uh, a Komodo dragon. Is that exotic? That would be exotic, right? We got lizards in the front yard. Oh, gosh. The I just like it because it has the word commode in it. I think that's funny. That's terrible. Go ahead. What do you like to do for me time besides write? Uh, sit on the couch and watch Columbo. The, ni the 1977 episodes. No, for me time, um, I like to uh, hang out with my friends. Uh, what else do I like to do for me time? I'll tell you what I do. I go sit in that barn and talk to those animals for two hours. She does do that. <laughs> Sometimes That's my they, me time. <laughs> sometimes they talk back. Hey, okay. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, we kind of talked only got about a few social left. media. Do you think social media has been good or bad for polite discourse and the sharing of ideas and beliefs? I think social media can be a great tool or a terrible one, just like anything else, and it should be used in moderation. Amen. That's Where's the microphone? Drop it. Microphone. Favorite karaoke song, single or duet? That's what it says. You said karaoke. Um, do you want to talk about me singing karaoke? No. Why? I don't think I anybody think that wants comes to hear about that. I think it comes off as great. What, did, what do I sing for karaoke? But uh, you're a terrible karaoke singer. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry, but. Uh, that's not exactly true. Um, that's Bruce Springsteen, uh, Glory Days. Mm. Uh, it's my favorite. What is your favorite karaoke song? Friends like and No Bases. <clears throat> I like them all. You are actually a great karaoke singer. Um, people know that. I've shared your videos. And um, we're actually, he's actually in um, talkings with uh, Warner Brothers about his new country album. You're not going to tell them that yet? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just kidding. All right. Uh, have you made any major changes to the farm during COVID and more time to stay at home? Yeah, we make the dogs wear masks. Go ahead. That's our COVID. Concept. That's our COVID. Uh, no, we are working on our deep litter method now where the animals defecate in the same spot all winter. And then we use that litter for our garden in spring. So that's what we're working on right now. And it's it's good. It's gonna be fun. It smells oh, terrible in there, but it's gonna be. We're gonna have some. Garden. We're gonna have some huge tomatoes. That's all I know. Any writing failures or learnings, experiences that you have? What? No, hold on. Time out. Let me start that over. Any writing failures slash learning experiences slash. that you have learned from, and that have made you the great writer you are today? Could you repeat the question? <laughs> Any failures or learning experiences you have to share with the audience? Uh, well, when I go back and read uh, my first work of nonfiction, uh, there's a lot of, I, I didn't even have an editor for, I mean, my first work of fiction, um, I didn't even have an editor for that. And so uh, there was a lot of um, grammatical things that I learned from that book. Um, you're not gonna always like what you write, but just, you know, do it and write it anyway. You evolve over time as an author. I've evolved since then. Okay. I only have two books left. Are we good on time? Are we all about done? Has yeah, it been 45 minutes? 40 minutes, 40? 35 minutes. Okay. I'm refreshing. Mm. We have one left. Let's see here. Don't forget if you'd like one of these, uh, which we, this is not all I have. We have others. This is just what I'm signing here in front of you. I've already signed quite a, quite a lot of books. Um, and so if you would like one, you check out the link here and get your signed copy. So this isn't limited. I have signed, I have Carpal Tunnel because I've been signing books for about two weeks now. Have I not? And he says, are you not done with those yet? 
Hey, what did you want to tell that story? <laughs> I'm just saying there's a lot of them. There I know. There's a stack this tall. I know. Literally. And there was like eight per page. I know. I was just curious if you may have been done yet. Are you there? You gonna buy, sell all? Buy I did not say that. It was you rude. He insinuated, insinuated that. that I no. insinuated. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm on the last one. You remind me of Irma Bombeck. Irma Bombeck, yes. Did you ever read her work? Yes, and absolutely. If you did, were you inspired from her? Yes, absolutely. Irma Bombeck is absolutely one of my favorites, favorites, favorites. Uh, and I've been told that a lot. And uh, my mother lo loved Irma Bombeck. Do you know who Irma Bombeck is? I'll give you a dollar if you tell me one thing <laughs> Irma Bombeck's done. I dropped the I'm top. Not, I'm not sure. I'm not well read. You You're not well read on the housewife humor? I guess not. Uh, yes, I love Irma Bombeck. And I find it to be a great compliment when I'm compared to her. Cool. Uh, all right, let's see here. You gonna follow up with a mate? Follow up with a good one. Scroll I'm, through and find I'm, a good one. I'm running low here. Uh, let's see. I'm refreshing, and uh, my friends are over here. Matthew and Janet and Amber and Heather are all here. Hi! Thanks for coming out to support me tonight. <laughs> Matthew, you're looking well, sir. Wait, we're not done yet. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Matthew looks well. He's got his. Well, let's not get support Matthew's home. part. Support hose. <laughs> support home. What is your most embarrassing moment? No, do another one. Best story from your travels. I actually, the... wait, I actually already did a podcast on most embarrassing moments. Go find that one. That's the, Those are good. Oh, shameless plug there. Huh? Yeah, shameless plug. I may offend you today, podcast. Best story from your travels and adventures. You don't take me anywhere. Next. Hi, Susanna. Hi. How is your family? My girls and I have had COVID in August and reread Suspicion on Sugar Creek I for like the fifth it. time. Fifth! You got me You've through. You've read it more than I have. <laughs> I love your work. Who said that? You don't have a name. I don't have a Thank name. Thank you very much to whoever submitted that comment. I love Suspicion on Sugar Creek. It's a good book. Do you have one more? Let's I end on a good note. Do you have a question for me? Well, have you enjoyed yourself uh, this <laughs> afternoon? It's <coughs> night, and yes. Night? Okay. <laughs> have you enjoyed yourself? I have. Thank you for joining me this evening. Let's I give appreciate a you inviting me, and uh, have had a wonderful time. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much for all of your support. <laughs> thank you all so much for taking me in tonight. I am glad to have you. Thank you for being no. here. Honestly, he's a good man. Um, uh, how may I offend you today? Uh, will be available in bookstores on Tuesday, but you can pre-order. I mean, you can order right now your autographed copy. You just saw me sign it, so this is not a scam. I just signed it. You watched me sign it. So you can order your copy right now uh, in the link. Uh, I think it's slash a fan, live signing.com slash a fan, maybe. Oh, Premier, yes, slash a fan. Uh, pr Premier Collectibles, I'm going to get it right. You see it. I don't have to tell you everything to It's do. on the internet. It's on the internet. Look it up. Google. Look it up. Yeah, it's Google. I don't have to tell you what to do. Uh, and get your copy of How May I Offend You Today. And thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. Thank you, my dear, for uh, being a wonderful moderator. You did a fine job. One bar of Luke and Bach, Texas. Just one. Liz. No. <laughs> thank you all. No. God bless. <clears throat>. I am sitting here with the one and only Jackie Chan, global superstar, and he is signing all of these books. Are your hands tired? Uh, no, tired, but I'm happy. All right. Yeah, I'm really, so really happy, happy to hear that. How do you feel? Good. I'm excited. This is the first time I've done something like this before, a live signing. Where do I want to go that I've never been? Um. Oh, we're thinking about, uh, not thinking, we're putting it in motion. I'm gonna go to Indonesia on uh, my irresponsible.